Hello everyone, welcome to another Star Wars Duel the Public video and today we have the new patch hit which means the Manon Stronghold is now live and for this video we're just going to be going through uh, the Stronghold, my thoughts on it, looking at some of the hooks and the decorations, maybe some suggestions about some really cool ways we could decorate the Stronghold. Also my opinions on it, now, this isn't a first look, I kind of wanted to do a first look video where it's just like my initial impressions right off the bat where I've never seen it before but um, I did go and check the Stronghold out um, and buy it from my guild before getting it personally. Personally, but anyways we'll be talking about it and here we have an opening cinematic where it's really showing off some of the nicer aspects of the stronghold obviously one of the major things is the water and um, I think now we're gonna skip to the underwater scenery and the underwater observatory that's available as well and there's some really really cool stuff associated with that um, really neat that's probably my favorite part about this stronghold now i'll just talk about right away right off the bat for those of you who checked out the stronghold for yourselves or as you'll see in this video it's so small and confined uh, there's only really a few rooms and most of the rooms are limited in the ways you can decorate it and stuff because they're really I don't know, low hanging ceilings and stuff like that. And especially the underwater part, I was expecting it to be way bigger, but it's really small. Uh, so we'll talk about that when we get to it. But looking right here, we have the huge entrance, which is just filled with hooks. I'll quickly dismiss my companion here and um, we'll jump into edit mode so we can see all the uh, different hooks available and stuff like that. And right off the bat, it's just hooks everywhere i mean i've never seen these many kind of large hooks as well as centerpieces and starships so right over here we have like a centerpiece right in the middle and i'll quickly give you guys a um, really zoomed out look of everything as you guys can see there's that huge starship centerpiece right at the uh, right at the top right side there and here's a centerpiece as well there's a starship and you can split it up into numerous centerpieces and that's one thing you're going to notice about this stronghold this is definitely very very centerpiece friendly for those of you who don't know what the uh, whole deal with centerpieces are is there are a lot of really nice decorations that are limited to only being placed on a centerpiece and for really small strongholds like drum and Kass and coruscant there's only one centerpiece area which is just insanely bad because there's so many nice decorations that would work and then with some of the bigger strongholds like Yavin, there's quite a few, and Tatooine, there's quite a few as well. I think Narshada is pretty limited. But here on Manan, we just have centerpieces everywhere. So you can put some of the really nice decorations like the the crate Dragon I was showing there. And then there's also, um, oh here we go, we'll quickly check out the um, Starship. Now this, I only learned today that there's a difference between Starship and Centerpiece. For the longest time I thought they were both the same, but it does seem as though Starship is even harder to get. And those are for the really big, de big decorations like the Odessan command base I was showing you guys there. And then of course we have some really nice podiums and stuff. So they've kind of changed the way that you place the hook. So now you actually have some like permanent decorations you could say that are always there. Things like these pillars here where you can hang stuff. And we have just centerpieces everywhere in the corners and everything. And then those um those really nice fountains as you guys can see here. If we jump to the other side we'll see that there's even more hooks hidden around. So it's going to be really cool to see the ways people uh, decorate this. Um, yeah so let's see what else here. Look at all these green stuff. I'm not sure quite how uh, one could decorate this uh, this area. I mean, I'm probably going to have to look at some Twitter images and stuff, try to get some inspiration. But um, there's definitely some creative things you could do. All right, jumping into this room now, we'll see that... Uh, I don't know, when I walk into this room, I get a Phantom Menace vibe. Like when Qui-Gon and uh, Obi-Wan were at the negotiations area. I don't know, that's just the vibe I got from it. It's probably pretty far off, but... um. Definitely some really cool things you could do here, but it's kind of just one of those transition rooms, so nothing too fancy. Um, but here is where we get to the exciting stuff. So we'll jump here, and we, as you guys can see, it's pretty small. You only have three elevator areas. So we'll start with the rooftop gardens, which is only two rooms. Here's the first room. Right off the bat, another centerpiece, but this centerpiece is a little bit cooler. The reason is because the, the ceiling, the top of it is actually open. So you can place a really large statue or decoration or something, and it'll the head or whatever will kind of just stick out from the top and I do believe you can actually see it all the way down from the entrance so that's really cool I'll try to find a really big decoration here now uh, this one's gonna clip with the um, so you don't want it to clip with the walls and stuff with the big spear but this one should be fine maybe if you set the the Y offset or the X offset or whatever a little bit to the side it won't clip but that's what I really like about this um, so you can play some of the really bigger decorations and uh, it won't look too weird but in any case, we'll pick that up because um, that definitely doesn't go there. 
Anyway, so yeah, I mean this could make for your dueling room or something like that It's the only room that's actually big enough aside from the big entrance that we just saw that where you could actually do some cool stuff with it Like if you were holding a guild party or if you were obviously doing duels and stuff with someone This would have to be the room you do it in every other room is way too small and compact to have some sort of utility for that And as you as we look outside the window here, we get some really nice scene where you have the Manon submarines there Actually giving me a little bit of a Naboo vibe, but um I would have loved it if you had some dynamic stuff going on. That's one of my qualms with this. It seems so simple. I mean, like, on one hand, I just love the scenery. I love the ambiance and ev of everything. But on the other hand, it just seems like Bioware didn't put so much effort into it. Like, they could have had a scenery. They could have had, you know, South Cat citizens walking at the sides or something going on that would have made it way cooler. Right out here in the actual rooftop, we see way more centerpieces. So once again, just, and the really cool thing is they've been releasing a lot of centerpiece decorations. The last cartel pack, which is the Dread Warlords cartel pack, um, that one, I think almost every single decoration out of that was a centerpiece, which was insane because there's no way you could possibly fit those cool, pretty, really nice decorations into your strongholds because they all required centerpieces. But now, like, maybe it seems as though they were preparing for a non-stronghold because now you can really set those uh, decorations everywhere and do some really cool stuff with that. And uh, unfortunately, as you guys saw that you can't actually jump off. That's another thing. Like, why not just, why, I don't know why they put an invisible wall there. Like, they should have kind of just let us go and explore and jump off and see what's going on. Why not make that whole other area with some decoration hooks as well, give us another starship decoration hook or something. But once again, Bioware kind of copped out on that. Uh, looking at the underwater observatory now, this is where we get to see some aquatic life and other stuff. So we have this huge dome here and we can see some like fish swimming around and stuff like that. So that's really cool. Once again, it's kind of weird um, that they didn't go a little bit more hardcore with it. Like I would have thought they would have put some cool looking sea creatures, some really Star Wars-y stuff, like things you saw in A Phantom Menace when they were riding around in that underwater submarine and you saw some really big stuff. I mean, why not just throw an Easter egg there or something like that? It would have been, I don't know, cool. It would have given us nostalgia and it would definitely would have made the stronghold a little bit cooler. Jumping into here, we have another centerpiece. Um, and outside, this is the coolest part, outside you have numerous centerpieces you can actually put in the water, which is at least something cool that they did. I mean, if they didn't include that, then that would have just been an all-time bad because people want to interact with the water and stuff. That's the whole appeal of the Manon Stronghold. But you can do some really funky stuff with this. I was thinking particularly this would be a really cool place to put the crate Dragon that I was showing you guys earlier because putting something like that in there would definitely have, like, you know, kind of give that mysterious feel of there were some sea creatures here that died or something, and now there's skeletons or the remains or whatever. Um, although I know the proper lore Cray Dragons belong on Tatooine and everything, but still, it would kind of give that uh, whole vibe. But I would have liked it better if they had kind of put it themselves, uh, just as part of the permanent decoration. But nonetheless, also a great place to put your statues and everything like that. And then other room, I believe, is completely identical. There's some different spacing with how they decided to do those outer uh, centerpieces. But nonetheless, it's, it's basically identical. Once again, rooms like these are too small to like maybe do dueling in and stuff. But um, definitely, there's some really cool customizing options here. Yeah, and more centerpieces outside. So definitely guys, let me know what you guys think. If you guys have like images and stuff of really cool ways you decorated your strongholds, make sure to tweet them at me and stuff. I'd love to see that. I'm definitely probably going to be doing a lot of my videos in this Manon stronghold. So I might decorate my personal one. I also have uh, a few guildies who are decorating the, uh, the guild stronghold. So if they decorate it really nicely, I'll probably do a lot of videos there as well. And so definitely be making my use out of this because I love the um, ambiance. Oh, another thing was I'm playing in the background of this video. I was supposed to mention this all the way at the start. I totally forgot. I'm pay playing the uh, Kotar Manan theme, which is like a really awesome soundtrack. And a lot of people I think were expecting that that soundtrack would be there anyway, like just as the background music of Manan, but that's definitely not the case. Some people were hoping that they're gonna give a decoration jukebox, which you can then play when you enter the stronghold and that way you have the theme going. But that is, I'm getting this one just straight off of YouTube. I really hope it doesn't get copyright striked. But in any case, um, yeah, definitely so nice to have that uh, the theme going on in the background and checking out the stronghold. Okay, in any case, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. hope you guys are enjoying the stronghold. As always, let me know what you guys think and, uh, you know, tweet out your photos and stuff. I'd love to see how you guys have been creative with this. The next video is going to be talking about those stronghold decorations uh, available on the cartel market that are supposed to be Manon themed. And so um, stay tuned for that video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.